Good morning, fellow YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. Happy New Year. This will be the first video of 2021. Has nothing to do with reloading. Technically has nothing to do with espresso, but kind of. And it's all about water. And uh, I'm going to be talking about my Brita that has both a zero insert as well as the Brita insert. And I'm going to tell you why. Because um, when I was reading about my espresso machine, they were talking about quality of water. So I decided to test my tap water. And I picked up a TDS meter. Uh, I can't remember what the TDS stands for. Um, something, yeah, I can't fucking remember. Uh, and obviously 0 to 50 to 200 is better than... Uh, 200 to 500 so I thought let me check my my tap water so I tested my tap water and as you can see that's three 398 399 which is not good and it won't turn off there we go so it's 398, 399. So on the scale of 0 to 500, it's on the less desirable scale. <clears throat> and then I thought, well, let me see what our buddies at Costco with Kirkland, and this is an unopened bottle. And again, clean glass, opening the bottle. Let me see what our buddies at Kirkland pull with the same and while I'm doing that this is my empty container this right now has a zero filter that I put in on 1219 I wrote the date down and the reason I started writing the date down was because the last time I checked my zero water filter I was shocked so here's the Costco water we're at zero Costco comes in at 13. Good stuff. Very clean water. Dry, dry this out. So Costco's coming in at some really good stuff. And when I originally did this, I tried it first with, since this is a Brita filter enclosure, I had Brita filters in there. And... Uh, I probably had the filter in there way too long. So here's a brand new filter. And when you do a, a new filter, it says to rinse with cold water for about 15 seconds. So while that water is dripping, we're going to take some cold water. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, and a couple seconds for good measure. All right, so this this Brita filter is now ready-ish. Let me dry this off. All right, so we've got some water in there. Some filtered water from... And what's in here right now is 12, 19, 29, 10, 11, 12, 13 ish days. This is obviously not a Brita filter. This is the zero water filter. So we will put the Brita back in. All right, the Brita filter's in. Whoop. Ooh, look at that. I was in too much of a hurry. Let me pour our old zero water filter in we're at zero 
So 20, uh, 19, 29, 30, 31st, so uh, uh, 13 days. Three forty-seven, which I think is just outrageous. Either we have some really shitty water, or that filter is not so great. So now we have the Brita, and we're going to just filter in some Brita. And see what Brita water, a new Brita filter does. Again, clean glass. And then we will do a new zero filter. And the reason I like the whole zero is because the last time I put the filter in, and I believe this is my last filter, is it didn't go to zero for me. Uh, and I don't expect it to because this is not a zero enclosure. It's a Brita enclosure. So anytime you get something made by company A for company B stuff, uh, it's, it's just not no bueno. All right, so empty glass. We've got Brita filter. We've got filter TDS measure. All right, so with a brand new, just opened Brita filter, I went from, what was it, high 300s, low 400s, right around there, to 248. So, 248, still not in the best of spaces. Let me dry that off. And we'll do the same thing, clean that off. <clears throat> now we will do the exact same thing, same test. And some of you may be saying, oh, your water's contaminated because you're not drying out. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I knew the Brita test was not going to be so wonderful. So this is a, essentially a brand new filter. This is my 13-day-old filter. I will take this out. We will dry this off because I want to get the best comparison of the zero. So I'll call day one zero amazing uh, as a filter. And uh, I was really caught off guard by how quickly, all right, so that, we are relatively, Again, not being scientific. If I was being scientific, I'd have one of these. Okay, so this is dry. If I was being scientific, we'd have one of these containers for each each test. But since I have not won the lotto, and my crypto has yet to materialize, I should have bought Bitcoin at $200 when I was thinking about it, but I didn't. All right, so there's reasonable. Not perfect, I'll call that good enough. And where the filter actually sits, or rather where the water goes in, we're good. Good enough, good enough. All right, so we're gonna cut this one open. This one doesn't say anything about um, having to prep it. All it says is verify that the O-ring is present on the filter when tightening to prevent leakage. So, I never saw uh, an O-ring anywhere. There's no O-ring in here. There's no O-ring anywhere on this thing, unless they're defining this as the O-ring. So, old, new, brand new. So we're going to pop this in here and it's seated it does not go all the way it is seated i cannot push that in any farther and i'm actually pushing to the point where you can hear the plastic starting to creak a little bit all right we are assembled we 
we'll give that a minute. And the my expectation is this glass is clean. This glass is dry. My expectation is this number will be extremely low, like in the teens, like close to Costco water. Uh, Costco was, I think, 13. So I'm expecting this to be much lower than anything else uh, because it has proven to be that way. Uh, the only bummer is, I'm just making sure we don't get any outside water contaminants when we pour. The, uh, the only bummer is this thing lasts for shit. And these are expensive. These are, uh, I think they were 5 or $6 a filter. I want to say it was like $15 for the three. Um, obviously, we tag. So let me just call it 20 bucks. I'll go to Wally World and see what they sell for. So we ordered a zero water container, which will come with its proprietary. This is a, uh, a, a version of the zero water filter specifically for a Brita enclosure. But the zero water filter enclosure will come with its own. I'm guessing it'll look different than this. And uh, I'm hoping it lasts longer too, because having it only last a few days is kind of ridiculous and unacceptable in my opinion. All right. I'm trying to be careful not to get any unfiltered water into, uh, into the test. All right, so we're done here. I'm going to take the whole thing out. I'll do two tests. I'm going to test what's in there. I'm going to test, okay, we're at zero. Twenty-three. Let me dry this off. Reset it to zero. And now it's blowing a 27. Blowing. Ha <laughs> ha. Reading. It's like a DUI thing. Let me go back to zero. 23. So, 23 is not zero, so it's not zero water, but I know that this can do zero because we have a friend who just got one over Christmas. They got the zero enclosure with the zero filter made for the zero enclosure, and their water from the tap was like 150-ish, and then uh, after using the zero, it was zero. So uh, I'm not knocking zero, and I'm not saying it can't be zero. I'm saying this is a Brita kind of hack, and I'm not expecting it to be zero. But um, 23 is a heck of a lot better than 300. So uh, now what I'm going to do is measure this every day to see on a daily basis. I mean, we go through a lot of water uh, between the espressos. Again, there's 23. Tap. Tap. Ha! So my Brita uh, and the old filter was reading higher. <laughs> That's just crazy. So 297, 299. So tap, let's just call tap 300. There's 300. So tap at 300. The old Brita or the new Brita, uh, not so great. Um, what What is actually excellent is a brand new zero filter so a brand new zero filter gives me the warm fuzzies uh, unfortunately they don't last for shit so at least in my brita with my water so your mileage may vary depending on where you live and what your water treatment is like in your facilities but uh, mine sucks and it's nice to have this i was getting the uh, comparable results with the same tds 
um, meter uh, that comes with the uh, zero filters. So uh, the only reason I did this was uh, to be a neutral third party kind of thing across multiple things as opposed to just uh, using the, uh, the zero water TDS uh, meter. So uh, we have really crappy, crappy water. Obviously, we have too many contaminants in, in our water coming from our filtration plants. Um, so I feel good about this. Uh, I'm just uh, bummed that the filters uh, are used so quickly. So uh, again, we'll see what happens with the uh, standard zero water version of this enclosure, which should be coming uh, sometime next week. So uh, there might be a follow-up to this uh, with... Uh, Two reasons. One, how long it takes to go from 23 to 300, how many days. And uh, we probably go through 7 to 10 of these a day-ish, if not more. So we'll test how long that filter lasts, and then we'll compare it to uh, the real uh, filter, or rather the real zero water enclosure with a, uh, a, a zero water filter made for their own enclosure to see if there's any difference in the longevity of, uh, of the filter. Suffice to say, uh, Happy New Year, and we have shitty water. Take care.